here for the uh, house tour. I'm gonna film the house tour. You must be here for the house tour. That's right, I am. <laughs> Come on in, welcome. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing something I've wanted to do for so long. When I was envisioning my YouTube channel, this is the video I was so excited about and it is a house tour. House tour. <laughs> Obviously, as you know, if you've seen any of my videos, we spent a lot of our time over the past five years since Zach and I met traveling the world. One of the downsides of traveling the world is that you are never home. I didn't do as much perhaps as I would have if I worked from home. The areas that people see the most, i.e. the downstairs area, are the areas that I put the most decorating efforts into. And then the rest of the house is, you know, would you say we're messy people or clean people? Uh, stuff, more stuff, 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 stuff. So much stuff. We're clean in our mind. We're clean, messy We're people. Clean, messy, if that's a thing. I really wanted this house tour to be authentic. There's so many things I want to do to it still that Instagram perfectionist Helen would probably do those things and then film the house tour. Should we get on with the house tour then? Yeah, I think enough time. <laughs> so let's show these people what this place is all Our home. About. Do you want to film me and we'll walk around? <laughs> is that how we do house tours? Absolutely. Let's I think that's it. how you do a house tour. So let's get this thing going. When you first walk in, this is the little entryway area. This is a table that we got, I think, on Craigslist, but you can find a similar one probably at CB2 or I think even Ikea. And then these chairs are anthropology. We actually spend a lot of time at this little table. We work here a lot, so it gets a lot of use now. But when we first moved in, we were never in this room. So this is like our new favorite room. Somebody made these for us. This is Cashew and Oatly. They don't live with us anymore because Zach's parents adopted them. So we just stare at these all day and wish they were here. Family portrait. Smile, guys. <laughs> and then this mirror. This is a mirror from Lulu in Georgia. I will try and link everything if I can find links. Over here, we have some photos of all of our trips that we've been on. This is actually a, a brand deal I did with this company, Wallpix, and I really like how it turned out. <laughs> Just a few of the many photos that we've taken all over the world. I really want to get one of those like cool beverage fridges. There's a perfect little it's space nice, for it. it. Is like, a nice like what else is gonna go here? The reason why I think we need to get this beverage fridge is because our fridge is like 7 Eleven. <laughs> it's 90% beverages. A lot, of, a lot of drinks now. And then you come in to the kitchen. Okay, so this is our Polaroid wall. This is a magnetized board, so we decided that we wanted to turn this into a little memory board. So we basically started the tradition of taking photos of all of our friends that come over. That's one of our favorite parts about this home is that it really served as like a social space for all of our friends. And so many memories. We have so many memories here. Okay, so since it's our tradition to take a photo of everyone who comes into this house, I need to take a photo of you guys, YouTube, the vlog, whatever your names are, you. <laughs> You're going on the wall. So I'll say cheese. Nailed it. Let's let that develop. We'll revisit that later. Onwards. Um, why don't we make the H a Z so we go Zellen's home to her. What do you think? That's fair. Okay. Yeah, she's like, let's <laughs> change it up. Let's uh, make that change. Oh, that feels good. Oh yeah. Are you happy now? <laughs> Much better. Okay. So as you walk in, you come through the kitchen here and then it opens up to this massive high ceiling situation. I don't know if it shows up on video, but they're so high down here. <laughs> it just makes you feel like there's so much light and you don't feel like suffocated, like you're just in a little box. This is our bar cart. I will link it because I know that there is still a link for it. It's one of my favorite purchases for this house. 
It just fits this space so well. It's very well stocked. Zach and I haven't been drinking, so we haven't had a drink for a while, but it's ready when we are. <laughs> we actually, um, we distill our own water. It's a long story, but this is our fresh filtered water that we drink from every day. And then I also wanna talk about my plants. <laughs> All of the plants in our house up until now had to be fake. We travel so much and when quarantine hit, I knew it was my time to be a plant mom and they're mostly all doing okay, except for this guy. If anyone knows if I can save him, let me know. I've been trying, but the rest of them are doing great. So all the other plants that you will see on this tour are fake, except for these ones. One of the challenges was finding art to put on this wall because it's such a big wall. I was following the photographer Gray Mallon for a long time. He does awesome aerial photography and I got to work with him on these prints. This is a beach in Australia called Coogee Beach, I believe. But yeah, so even when we're not on vacation, we're still at the beach. Let me introduce you to my home. We this always say, assume the position. Assume the position, yeah. And that means this is the position. <laughs> That's the position. This is the position. We just chill and... This is where we spend 90% of our time. That is the position. <laughs> we have all of our games and our Theragun right here in this bowl. We've had many game nights here. This is blankets and all of our workout stuff is in here because we work out down here, so... Oh, should I show you the patio? We also have a little outdoor patio area over here. I'll show you quickly. Downstairs bathroom. This is our little outdoor patio space. Put this flooring in from Ikea, which really helped the space a lot. Other than that, I really haven't done much out here, which I wish I did because we did spend so much time out here this year. So that's one of my projects that I wanna do and I'm gonna do a YouTube video about it. I'm gonna do a full patio update makeover video. Okay, let's go upstairs. So the first thing at the top of the stairs, we have our laundry right here, washer and dryer. And then coming up here, this is our loft. It overlooks the living room. Gives you a bird's eye view of what's going on down there. And then we decided to use this little area as our office. This desk setup is from Ikea. This is my side, that's Zach's side. We are going to spruce this office area up. This is kind of, to be honest, like the bare minimum, but it works, it's nice and clean. Well, <laughs> I may or may not have spent a very long time organizing this area. Stuff. But it's looking good now. I definitely want to make some upgrades. Funny story about my Revolve Award. <laughs> Revolve hosted an award show in Vegas one year and we were also attending the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show in New York. The Revolve Awards were scheduled for the day after the fashion show, but we were also so excited to be attending the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show. It was the last Victoria's Secret Fashion Show, hopefully not ever, but we ended up having such an amazing time in New York. After the fashion show, we ended up at the club with all of the models, all of the performers, and of course we just wanted to live it up and make the most of it, so we stayed out at the club until like 5 a.m. I think. In the club. <laughs> In the club. The next morning, well that morning, our flight to Vegas for the Revolve Awards was at like 6 a.m., so we went straight from the club, packed our bags, went to the airport, but I got my hair professionally, my hair and makeup professionally done for the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show. So I did not shower. I just went on the plane, same hair, same makeup, went straight to Vegas. Zach and I took a power nap in Vegas, woke up. I did not change my makeup. This is like the most ratchet thing I've ever done. I put on my dress. We went downstairs to the award show. The Breakout Ambassador of the Year Award was the one I was, the category I was nominated in, and that was the first award that they announced. I was so tired, did not think I would win, and they called my name, and I was like, I just like froze. I 
don't remember what I said in my speech, Zach has a video of it, maybe we can play it here. <laughs> This is the story behind this crazy award. We ended up having an amazing time in Vegas, and then I think we slept for a week after. What else were we nominated for, though? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> we were nominated for a couple goals of the year. Did not win that because... Uh, we didn't win. <laughs> Kiara Ferrani and her husband were nominated, and they didn't even announce the winner because they just blew it out of the water. Stiff competition, guys. <laughs> Stiff competition. Stiff competition on that one. Guys, this is one of our favorite parts of the house. Single person sauna. I'm gonna demonstrate it for you now. <laughs> Open the door, step one. Sit down, turn this baby on. It's not plugged in, but <laughs> and you just let it drip. <laughs> We had this little awkward nook in our office that we didn't know what to do with, and it turns out that the sauna fit perfectly there, so we have a sauna in our house. <laughs> Let's go upstairs. This way. So one of my favorite parts about this house is that downstairs and upstairs both have insanely high ceilings. Obviously downstairs are higher. As you can see, if you pan up, <laughs> as you can see, these ceilings are still so high this big bright skylight which i love because it keeps this area light and bright which otherwise would be dark so we have two bedrooms up here we have the master and then this is the spare slash i'll just show you this is, the... this is my room by the way <laughs> which is also mostly helen's extra room this is the stuff room Stop. This is where I keep all my clothes since obviously I don't have as much clothing. But my own bathroom is just sweet. I weigh myself naked every day on this scale. That's TMI. They don't need to know that. Hopefully the neighbors don't know. Also could not not mention that from our apartment you get a view of the Hollywood sign. There she is guys. And then if you follow me through here. This is the master bedroom. This is another challenging wall to decorate because again, the ceilings are so insanely high in this room. I did this gallery wall. These are all just prints that I picked out from a website called Society6. It was another brand deal I did and I really love how it turned out and it's really affordable just to put together a wall like this. We have this big storage bed here. This bed is from West Elm, I think. It's great because this is a little storage area down here. I really love that they put these windows in right here because it allows the light from the skylight to flood into this room, which is really smart because without that, it would really block off a lot of light coming into our bedroom. I have some shoe storage right here. Um, unfortunately, my jewelry is not currently organized Oops. because... I knocked it over on accident. Zach knocked it over. Our smoke alarm did its like yearly out of battery alarm situation where it just starts beeping the most high pitched beeping noise. I gotta retouch that. But... So it's 3 a.m. Zach moves the dresser over here, puts a stool on top of the dresser to attempt to disarm the alarm that's going off, and in doing so, knocks over all my beautifully organized vanity and perfumes and jewelry. Yikes and just left it out on the ground for me to deal with in the morning. Okay, so guys, <laughs> here's the thing. You know what I was saying about how I have so much stuff? Well, it's an, it's an issue. Um, the closet is nowhere near um, like a beautiful, pristine, home tour worthy closet, but I wanted to show you guys anyway because Instagram Helen would not want to show you, but YouTube Helen is all for it and I just, I want to be real here, so this is my closet. Yeah, sorry you had to see that. I'm working on it, I promise. This is the bathroom. 
pretty simple. You know, didn't really do a whole lot in terms of decorating the bathroom. I just like it being bright and white and clean, but would love to spruce it up a little bit and maybe get some more plants in here or something. Nice big shower. This big skylight up here allows for some natural daylight to come in, which is crucial in my opinion for doing your makeup. <laughs> okay guys, that concludes the house tour. Hopefully you liked it. Please give this video a like if you did and please subscribe to my channel. I have some exciting videos coming up that you don't wanna miss. And I think there's one more thing we have to do before we end the video. Yes, there is. Follow me. What do we got? How's it looking? Wow. You guys look good. You guys look real good. You know what time it is. You no know time it is. Pop it on. It's going on the wall. Lovely. Thanks for watching.